Hi everyone, so today we are going to talk about URL dispatcher and I basically decided to separate this topic in two videos and the second uh, video will be about namings and name resolutions and namespaces so everything related to names and the first video, this video, will be about everything else which is important about URL dispatcher and I think we can start now so by default if you have uh, your project for example my project named models databases and here I have my models uh, databases folder inside this one and here you have your default URLs uh, so you have your URLs dot pi dot py and here usually you will define all of your URL patterns uh, so URL dispatcher basically what it does is uh, it receive it receives any URL calls like this and it tries to match uh, you know all the different names uh, that you can write in your uh, website so it, it's trying to match your URLs to some particular patterns that you defined here and you can see here you already have a default admin path uh, you can see here admin page and admin view so basically when you write admin Django looks through all of the URL patterns and it see okay there is this path which uh, matches that we have just written here and it returns this view and this is default stuff but of course we can define something else here i have application named administration and let's imagine that we need to have page name named admins and so if the person writes admins in the url uh, we need to actually show some information about all the administrators in our application so in order to do that we write path admins and here we should actually uh, write some kind of uh, view function that we will return uh, when we call this admins url and i have already prepared this dummy view so you don't really uh, need to understand views right now uh, the only thing that you need to understand is that view uh, is actually takes a request and it returns some kind of html page and for our purposes we defined the simplest possible html page html response with particular string dummy view for teaching purposes so i will have more lessons about uh, views but for now um, you just need to understand that this function basically returns the very simple html page with string response dummy view for teaching purposes we define it here so we write so we need to import this function administration views import admin view and here here we actually pass it for this url pattern and now we have some problems here because we need to restart our server and now and now so if you write admins in the url the django looks in the url patterns and sees 
here this admins path and it takes this parameter function admin view and returns HTTP response dummy view for teaching purposes. And we also might have, for example, uh, individual page for each admin. For example, if we write admins one, we need to have some particular uh, information about this admin here, or if you write admin two again. Uh, but of course, uh, we can't write like uh, we, we can't write path for each of these admins one by one, right? It would be too long, and also here uh, we would need to define some kind of logic to understand what admins are actually there and what admins we need to define. And so we can't write uh, the path for each admin based on its ID. But what we can do is, is we can use converters. So in order to use converters, we write path admins and here we define our converter. So basically we can define that here we can, for example, pass a string or integer or any other stuff. In our case, uh, we need to pass admin ID in order to uh, receive the information about some particular admin. And to do that, we write int and then ID. So int is a keyword that helps us to uh, say what we expect here to get here. Uh, and ID is basically a parameter. We can write anything here, anything that we want to pass to this uh, new function. So in our case, we pass uh, this ID integer and we can pass it for example, to admin view int. So again, this is something that we need to define. So we already defined this dummy admin view, fu admin view function and now we need to define, define a new function, admin view individual. And we also need to remember that here we have this um, ID. Uh, so we have here admin view individual. It's basically the same as admin view. And we have here uh, the error saying that we need to actually, uh, so here we defined an ID Uh, ID parameter and basically when we write this URL we pass this uh, as a ID parameter to this function and so we actually need to define it here too in order to not get any errors and yeah so once again we define this admins for example, one URL Django looks to the through the URL patterns. It sees that it matches this expression admins and some kind of integer here, which is one. If we write, for example, this a string, we uh, will receive the error. So in order to receive strings, we need to uh, change the value type here to string, but we need integer. So let's define integer here. And basically this integer that we pass to our URL 
it will be actually passed as a ID parameter to this function. And in this view function, we actually can use it. For example, we can say admin number ID. And as you can see, we actually can use this parameter in the function. So one more thing is that, uh, so we can not only pass this ID parameter, but we can also pass some other stuff here. For example, let's say we have here greeting text. And we would say that admin number something greets you with particular greeting test, text. Uh, now we will receive an error because we have we need to receive this greeting argument and we can actually do it here. So we just need to pass dictionary greeting, for example, hi. And now apart from passing this ID parameter, we also pass greeting parameter to this admin view individual function. And we need to use this here. And you can see that we actually pass one more parameter to our function. You can include one URL patterns in another URL patterns. So for example, here I have my administration application with uh, its own URLs, which is just dummy page, one dummy page. And basically I can include these URL patterns inside these URL patterns. And to do that, I use include function and I say path and I can for example even leave it empty and say include administration URLs and now we don't have any problems and I can actually how was it it was dummy page like this and as you can see we included these URL patterns in our original uh, original URLs py file using this include function.